done? Okay, it's my turn. Oh good grief, I don't think this tree is worth it. <laughs> but let's play with the monsters. Okay, I've changed my mind. I definitely want to kill them. Got him! Yes, 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 I got him. Well, good morning. We're back in Eternum, and we're going to go look for Pisces to recover a bow. And I would like to make a quick announcement. Although I will be making a channel announcement before the end of the week. Or before the start of next week. New World will be decreasing from twice a week to once a week on Saturdays. And that is so that Valheim can increase to twice a week. So Valheim will be taking over New World's Wednesday slot. And New World will continue on Saturdays. Because, I'll be honest, I still enjoy the game. Even if it's not the most popular thing on my channel, I still enjoy playing it. So, I will continue bringing you content for New World once a week. But, like I said, that will leave that slot free for Valheim to get a second weekly showing. Okay, so let's zone in on this. It looks like we're headed out. Oh, we want to go across this way and around and up that way. And we have several spots we haven't seen yet. Okay. So let's do that. But like I said, I will be making a channel announcement before Monday so that everybody knows to expect the change. Also, I would like to thank everybody who's joined me. Hopefully you enjoying the videos. If you are, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you're enjoying, what you don't enjoy. And if you want to see more content, well, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell for all notifications so you don't miss anything. And thank you. Go, yep, we want to go all the way around this way. Moving on. Doomed crewman. He's a very angry crewman too, isn't he? I guess I would be if I was doomed. Um, we want to go this way. Going totally the wrong way right now. Ooh, what's in here? A regurgitator and some sort of spirit. Huh? Isabella's officer. Uh, that's kind of creepy.
A lot of lodestone around here. Well, my mining is up to 135. I can now track platinum. Rabbit Island. Oh, bunnies. It's an island for bunnies. Hey, bunny. There's a note in here. Today we have a new addition to our family. A pair of spotted rabbits I rescued from Windsward, where adventurers were killing them nonstop. I will call them Romeo and Juliet after the recent play of fame in the old world. So somebody was bringing bunnies here. Oh, that's sweet. Little teeny tiny island with a couple of bunnies on it. Now, see, I would have told like, if they still had uh, had it so that you could build anywhere in the world. I'd totally be building something here, even if I had to fight things now and now and then. Because that's just, that's cute. <laughs> a soul worm tongue. I have no idea what a soul worm is, but I have their tongue. Isn't that lovely? What's up there? We have some star metal. I'll take that. First mate, L Lockeran. I don't think I have any quests for him yet. Or make sure. something for called Fang Snap. I kind of wish I could like just do a search for the name and then see if I have it. For some reason I get the feeling I'm going to want to remember this guy and Isabella's first mate or whatever he was. I get the feeling I'm going to want to remember these two for later. Uh, festering flotsam. That's past this one. Okay, so we're going to make a big loop around. And while we're at it, I think we want to see what that is. Oh, we should have gone around the other way. That's okay. We do need this shrine. So 
We're taking the long way around, but it's good enough. So, whoever this guy is, he doesn't move. And we don't seem to have a quest for him right now. So we'll let him be in his uh, eternal misery until we're ready to kill him. And I think that's enough star metal for now. So let's go down. And head around this way. There's a cannon up there. Oh, we'll leave them alone too for now. They're not our primary goal, so we're not worried about them. Are we going this way? No, we are going this way. No, this place is even creepier at night than it is during the day. I guess that's the way of it. I saw like a two minute YouTube video. This guy had taken Unreal Engine 5 and recreated a train station in one of the prefectures of Japan and it was so realistic looking that if he hadn't said it was made in Unreal Engine most people would have been fooled into thinking that it was just some iPhone camera footage or something it was that good. I'm um, like, one, and dude has some serious 3D modeling skills, and two, Unreal Engine 5 can do that. Wow. Almost makes me want to learn how to do that so I can do some video game design of my own. Of course, I have, like, um, is it RPG Maker? I should learn how to use that. Obviously, it's more for pixel-based games, but, hey, pixel-based games can be fun. I have a few of them. See how much space do I have in my bag? Oh, I have plenty. Okay. Let me grab this word wood then. But yeah, I, I played I have quite a few pixel based games, including Vampire Survivors, Acquit It, um a couple of little RPG style games. So yeah, pixel style games have that nice retro feel from like the 80s and 90s of course you know retro feels aside you can't have a game unless you've got a good story you know you've got a good plot you have good quest lines you have good NPCs. I mean, there's a lot involved in making a game. <clears throat> but to be honest, a couple of those steps Amazon Game Studio missed. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. 
I still enjoy the game for what it is. I make it what what I want it to be. I still kind of treat this like a sandbox game. I know that it's gotten more linear with all the quests and all that stuff, but I kind of just do my own thing. Take it nice and slow, and I think that's probably a big reason why I still enjoy the game. Because I have taken it nice and slow. I kind of just do my own thing. And there's still a lot of stuff that I've not had a chance to see as a result. So I'm still exploring. I do understand why a lot of people didn't like the game for various reasons. You know, the PvPers, I know that they keep throwing things at the PvPers, but that's like the the, the rich parents uh, of buying the kid anything they want, anytime they want, but they're not actually paying them any attention. So, yeah, that's what it feels like to me. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't feel like chasing it. Okay. So, yeah. That's how I view the way the PvPers are treated. They get stuff thrown at them, but they don't actually get any attention. And it, it goes the same for the PvEers. You know, they get a bone thrown at them now and then too. But once again, they don't really get any real attention. Oh, he's fishing. Is there a quest there? Grr, the alligator seems hungry and weak. Wow, so small. The alligator snaps at you, clearly offended by the insinuation that he isn't big enough. Maybe I can help you get bigger. He pants like a dog and licks his sharp teeth. Who could have left him here? Okay, why are we even talking to, um... Me... Venture into the Depth Expedition. Okay. So, as much as I'd like to help the little fella, it is an expedition, so I won't be able to do it. So, we're just going to carry on here. And this guy here... Keep your voice down. Do you want them to find us? He has a thing on his head, but he, uh, doesn't really have anything for us to do. And did we just get another point with Restless Shore? We did. We'll go with the storage, I think. Okay. It's like, we could have done the XP game, but we're halfway to 60 anyway, so why bother? We can go up this way and through here. So what's this place? Treetop Terror? It 
It's waving. Why is it waving? Well, it probably doesn't see me. Do I have to go up that way to get across? Um, kind of do. Kind of maybe do. I don't know. Can I sneak up this way? Doesn't look like it. All this climbing and stuff we can do, I can't get up there. Really? Are you serious? <laughs> they did that on purpose. Okay. Yeah, they totally did this on purpose. So you have no choice but to go the way they want you to go. That's the direction we want to go. Well, if they're up there, and I just need to go across here, looks like I can avoid most of them anyway. Oh, I guess can't get that. There we go. So we go this way. This is a neat spot. It actually is a pretty neat spot. No lie, I like that. Okay. Are we still going the right way? Yeah, we actually want to cut in here right about here. to go is down the road here and I bet you that un unmarked landmark is Pisces Pretty place. Pretty little spot here. I am not even going to bother cutting down their trees. I'm already going to piss them off.
What is that? Oh, it's a life moth. Okay. I was like, what kind of strange creature is that? Because in this game, you can pretty much expect anything. Ooh. What's this? Is that supposed to be a blue pigment? Because I can't access it. It's kind of covered by stuff. Man, that stinks. I know what this is up here. Somebody's campsite. Get to know Restless Shores. Okay. And what is this place called? Eridanus? Eridanus? those I think that's an elite area landmark difficulty group 5 okay so it's a group area which means it's full of elites and we know what happens when you get some elites on you. You don't last long. And I'd like to <clears throat> finish the quest I'm working on. And not have to run all the way back here again. I need to go back down this way. this way. Down here. So this is where we need to recover her bow from. Recover her bow from an or archer. A lightning beetle. I have all the weird bugs here. Come back here, you. Come on. Come on. Yeah, what well, one? Well, getting shot here. Let's see. We need to go this way. So, since we got her bow, we'll just leave him to his devices. We did get her bow, right? Yep, there he is. Okay. to head off this way. We need to find items from Santiago's past. I 
Do I have anything chasing me? Nah. Okay. Festering Flotsam. We need to recover his ring from a chest and get his brooch and locket from pirates. So we have his locket and brooch. And now we need to find a chest. A note over there. Let's go kill this pirate so we can read it. We survived, although the Santa Cristobal has not. The storm was fierce, perhaps the fiercest I have ever encountered, but the strength of our crew got us through. And perhaps God answered our prayers as well. There is no trace of Isabella's ship, the Santa Maria, or the Santiago. And while I fear they may be lost, I refuse to give up hope. I will send crew out to search for them as soon as we are able, our fellow crew, or our first priority. I know Captain Isabella would do the same. And if she is searching for us as much as we are searching for them, it will not be long before we are reunited. For now, we are making camp, and we shall see what tomorrow brings. Chief Pilot Keys of the Santa Cristobal. Yeah. I hate to tell you, she probably was not looking for you as much as you were looking for her. Well, that ship got wrecked. So we need to find a chest. Oh, there's one right here. So we just need to kill this guy for it. But it wasn't the chest we wanted, so let's keep looking. In here. We'll kill you now. Although, can you kill something that's already dead? Wow. Is it either I lagged, or the game lagged.
It's in here somewhere. Okay. It's not moving from this spot. So somewhere around here is what we're looking for. Maybe this one? There we go. Alright, so which way are we headed? Um, we could run that way and around, I think. Yeah. We're actually a lot closer to the guy than I thought we were. We don't have to go all the way back around. Hmm. Don't call it dealing with Mr. Big and Scaly there. Yeah, there is some sort of lag going on. Now, I know the game had an update. I don't know if some sort of a patch today. But, uh... There's some weird stuff going on now. <gasps> so, that was one of the ships from Isabella's fleet. There's probably been a couple of them we've run into. These are probably some of Isabella's crew. Which means our new friend was also probably part of Isabella's crew. And he doesn't remember because he doesn't want to remember. In which case, I totally wouldn't blame him for not wanting to remember. Well, when I started this, I didn't think I was going to just make a big giant loop. But, <laughs> hey, it worked out. I like that. Turned. And look at that. You found my missing jewelry. That ring, that brooch. And how could I forget that solid gold locket? And none of these keepsakes have your name on it. Uh, Salvatore's a nickname, you see. Alice was my wife. <laughs> and my dear daughter Gamma gave me this brooch for safekeeping. <laughs> I'll never forget it. Ah, how these mementos draw me back from the brink of despair. Ah, uh, okay. My memory slowly returns thanks to you. I now remember how I came to this cursed island. We were merchants captured by pirates and brought here against our will. Oh, what villain did this to you? He now goes by Scurvy Hook. Never was there a captain more cruel managed to kill a crew member every day we were at sea not to mention taking all our fine cargo for himself sounds like an evil he was he is and now you can help me set things right give our poor crew the justice they deserve teach scurvy hook that wickedness has a price Okay. Are we buying this? Oh, are we buying this story? I don't know about you, but I'm not buying it. So apparently Scurry Hook's over here. Let's go 
deliver a bow. Where is the bow? Up here. Up by a shrine. Well, that's convenient. So, I can do that. Oh, I, once I get to the settlement, I can do that. I forgot, I can't just stand out in the middle of nowhere in fort somewhere else. I actually have to be at a settlement or a shrine in order to do it. Now I can do it. Okay. I am not buying this guy's story at all. In fact, it started sounding kind of fishy the last quest, and now it's definitely smelling like fish. Hmm. I don't want to attack. Impressive. We did not expect much. All you did at first was stare. Oh, you're still staring. Are you not aware that different petals may grow from the same plant? So too do different plants serve different purposes. I'm not sure I understand. It would be easier if you were part of our mind. Still, we thank you for aiding us. While our minds are divided, it is best for the branch to remain separate from the tree, however difficult. Their approach is strong. Your confusion is evident. These are dark times with our minds divided. Many, in verdant ascent, do not support visiting Eden Grove to discover what has happened. They are root-bound and have settled into unhealthy ways. They would prevent you from leaving. If we returned, it would be like an early winter frost. There would be long discourses about the merits of staying secure at Eridanus, which would be as good as never leaving at all. We cannot sit by and allow that. Then why haven't you left? That is the heartwood of the matter. While we are most appreciative to have our boat back, it is like a spiny branch stripped of its thorns. We remember leaving a quiver behind at Fornax. Please return our arrows to us. Eridanus, that's what she's talking about, the elite stronghold. But where are her arrows? Let's find out. Her arrows are... Okay. Here. So, back where we were already. So, we could travel just down this path, grab that. Then travel across and grab that. Okay. I guess that is what we're going to do. Next time. But until then. Bye for now.